It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and we are back with more movie information, uh, more casting, and uh, we also got a release date officially today, at least from some sources, so I will cover that in an upcoming video. I just wanted to get through these casting videos first, so I know in case a couple of you want to put in the comments, dude, we got the release date, we got the I know all about it, and uh, I will get that up uh, video very, very soon. I'll get that video up very soon. Uh, but first, I want to talk about some casting that came out like a week or two ago, and uh, and I had it, and I had the information and everything, but I just, um, you know, because I check the IMDb now probably like every like day or two, uh, just to make sure, like I check through all the departments, make sure there's no stand-ins or someone doing stunts for another character, and I check the main cast as well, and they've been updating a lot with the main cast. And so one thing we got that was updated was Holly is officially listed on the IMDb now, as the uh, the person who's playing Sherry Birkin. So now it's more official. Like, again, IMDb, it can be tweaked. It can be, you know, edited and stuff by people outside of uh, the actual industry. But it's a good thing to fall back on sometimes. And it's it's rarely wrong when it comes to stuff like that. Rarely. So, uh, so I feel good about, you know, just saying, like, all right, it seems official that Holly's going to play that, especially since we know she has a stunt double already who we talked about in the, uh, one of the previous episodes. So, um, and hopefully those of you who did watch my previous episodes that uh, just watched the movie stuff, if you want to check out, I did get to play the new Res Evil Reverse game um, as a beta tester, and I got to play that, and uh, I was able to upload that footage. So uh, episodes 51 and 52, the first two episodes of the season, are my playthroughs of that. One with the comic filter on and one without, and I'll have some more videos coming up soon uh, regarding that game for sure. Um, so now we have uh, the casting I want to talk about today is uh, Nathan Dale. So if you remember this photo from a while back, it had a group in there, and we were like, all right, so who's Nathan playing? Because he was listed, I think, on the IMDb, but not as a character. Um, or we, I was trying to figure out who he was, and he comes from a, a show called Letter Kenny uh, that actually my friend Gene is a really big fan of. It was something I didn't really know about, but then I was like, oh, right, Gene talks about that show all the time. Um, so uh, so Gene is, you know, he's he was intrigued now. He's like, oh, wait, what? who's in Resident Evil? And I told him that uh, Nathan was, and he was like, oh, okay, maybe I actually will go see this movie. So look at that. Nathan's pulling people in already, people who aren't big Resident Evil fans. Um, and so Nathan has now officially been listed as playing Brad Vickers. Brad! Here they come! Oh, here! There's so many. So if you go to the IMDb, you'll see him listed there as Brad Vickers, which is awesome because I was hoping Brad would be on the team. And this guy looks like he could be a pretty good Brad. Uh, you know, Brad has, I won't say, I guess he's partly essential to uh, the story of Chris and Jill and the Stars team. Because in the video game, um, you know, they, they kind of set up that Brad is, he has a nickname Chicken Heart, which I think in the books written by S.D. Perry, I think he was called Chicken Shit. Uh, but uh, Chicken Heart is his name in the book, and that's because he's a big frady cat. Uh, he's their pilot. He's the helicopter pilot that's supposed to bring him in the missions. But apparently he gets he has bad nerves and he freaks out easily. And that's actually what happens to him in the game is he, you know, flies the team in to go look for the uh, the alpha team or the Bravo team. He flies the alpha team in. And so Chris, Jill, everybody gets out, you know, the opening of the, the video game and they get out and they're looking for their compatriots. And they find some of them dead, chewed up by the dogs and the, you know, the, the Cerberus dogs. And, uh, and they're running back to the chopper and the chopper flies away and it abandons them. And that's because Brad got scared and flew away. Now, as a redemption factor for Brad, he does fly back to the Arklay Woods and uh, and tries to look for survivors. He's like, he's, he's overhead and he's like, look, I still have enough fuel. I'm going to do a couple laps around here. If you can hear me on the radio, uh, you know, I found a landing pad, you know, in this location. Try to get there. I can get you out, hopefully. Like, I'm sorry I left you, whatever, you know. And so I don't think he actually apologizes. Uh, but his coming back to try to help them is kind of an apology a little bit. 
I had a theory that would be kind of neat where it, where it, uh, you find out that Wesker actually got to him before they took off and he told, you know, uh, Brad to fly away and then to come back for, you know, any survivors, um, you know, or something like that. Or maybe while Brad flew away and he was like, he's not actually chicken. He's like, he just was following Wesker's orders, but then had a consciousness change and was like, you know what? No, I'm going to go back and help people. I thought that would be a cool twist to put on the character too. So we'll see what the movie does with Brad, uh, you know, through Nathan here. But this was just neat. I wanted to share it with you guys and, uh, you know, and bring this to your attention uh, so that we know that Brad Vickers is officially in this movie. So we got a lot of stars members. We got Rico, Enrico Marine. Uh, we got Brad Vickers. Um, you know, we got, you know, Chris and Jill, obviously, uh, Wesker. No word on Barry or Rebecca yet. Um, I don't know if they're going to be in this movie. I feel like that would be a little too many characters. But I understand that's like we haven't really we got a live action version of Barry kind of in uh, in one of the previous Resident Evil movies. And although I like the actor who plays him, like that Retribution is definitely my least favorite Resident Evil movie that's been out so far. I don't like most of those movies or any of those movies, really. But uh, but five Retribution is definitely my least favorite. And that su sucks because it had a lot of video game characters in it like Leon and Barry. But they're just not really, you know, they don't really play those characters. Like Barry's, we don't know if he's a, a family man. You know, we don't know if Leon, like what Leon's story is. Um, so they're kind of just generic skins, uh, you know, characters. Uh, like where it's just like, ah, oh, you're just in name only, you're that character. And, and I hate when movies do that. So I would hate for them to do that again with Barry and with Rebecca. So if they want to save them for a, a, a second movie or something, even though I know that doesn't follow the timelines, but you could save them for later. Heck, you could make a Resident Evil Zero. You could do a prequel to this movie and have Rebecca star in it. Um, and that could still be cool if she's mentioned in this movie or not. I don't know. Um, but you could have Rebecca and Barry in the prequel if you want to do that. Um, but, I'm, you know, they'll figure it out. We'll see how the movie goes because obviously this is combining the first two video games into one story. And, uh, and we're going to get more of that as we talk in the next episode because Brad Vickers... He's in the first video game, and the third one is where he finally dies. Uh, but uh, but we have a character that has been cast for the you know from the second video game, um, who makes sense you know considering that Sherry Birkin was just cast. Um, but now we have uh, another cast because we have William Birkin already and Sherry, but we still needed the third member of the family. So we'll talk about that in the next episode. So be sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know your comments down below about Brad Vickers and Nathan playing him. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, as always. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.